So iOS 17 is going to be coming out in the next few months. I think it's a little bit over two months away. We basically got the confirmation for WWDC the other day. So basically, we are knowing that the iOS 17 update is going to be coming out during WWDC, at least beta 1. The main official version should be coming out in September. But we really still don't even know what devices are going to be supported. I'm pretty sure all the devices on iOS 17 are going to be, or on iOS 16 are going to be getting iOS 17. But if that doesn't end up being the case, either way, the iPhone XR is probably going to be the lowest supported iPhone that's guaranteed on iOS 17. I am pretty sure Apple's not going to be discontinuing the iPhone XR for sure. Now, there's always a chance, who knows? But if I had to kind of guess, I'm pretty sure iOS you know, 17 is going to be supported on the iPhone XR. Now, why is that important? Well, for one, a few months ago, we've been kind of getting leaks and rumors stating that iOS 17 wasn't going to be that big of an upgrade and all this other stuff. And even that, I was totally understandable. I think that would have made a lot of sense too. iOS 16 was a decent sized upgrade and there was a lot of bugs that needed to be fixed and it would have been really nice that Apple just fixed those bugs. But then we got a leak the other day stating that the iPhones on iOS 17 are probably going to be getting some of the most requested features Apple's ever, you know, basically had. So that screams to me that there's going to be some crazy thing. Maybe third-party application support, maybe the ability of split-screen multitasking, maybe some more theming options, who knows? And if that ends up being the case, the iPhone XR, the 2018 somewhat mid-tier budget phone, not really budget, but mid-tier phone, that is going to be getting these types of cool features. And that is something that is so cool. The fact that this iPhone, the iPhone that I didn't really like when it first came out, but I basically came to love this iPhone, this thing is going to be getting those awesome features that, that maybe the iPhone 10 may not be getting. So I think that is a really cool thing. So this year, if you own an iPhone 10R, you are probably going to be getting some of these cool features that Apple is going to be bringing on your you know, main device. So that is a really awesome thing, and I love that so much. Now, I will say I would not recommend installing iOS 17 as soon as it comes out. I would recommend installing it probably, you know, come you know November of this year once it officially comes out and it's been fixed a little bit here and there. But I still look at the iPhone XR, and it, as long as it's getting iOS 17, I just have a hard time believing that Apple's going to cut that phone, considering they just cut two iPhones, the iPhone 6S and iPhone 7, literally on the last version of software. So I don't think they're going to do it again. So that's why I think the iPhone XR is still in a very, very very good spot. So that kind of covers that up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.